In the last two videos, you've seen how you can embed the get response form on WordPress and Shopify. In this video, let's see where you can get this code. So let's say you come back months later, once you've created the form and you want to see where you can get this code. Let's see where you can do that and so much more. So you can go back to the form creator. This is if you want to continue editing the form or maybe you want to change something in the form, you can click here to go back to the form creator. Or you can go to the form list. So let's assume that you're not on this page with me. You can just come here under forms and survey and you'll click on forms and survey. And that's going to show you all your forms. First things first, if you want to get the link for this form so that you can embed it on WordPress or you can embed it on a different site, you'll just come here on this side and you can click here, copy form code and you'll be able to copy the code and embed it wherever you want to embed it. You can also see that on this page, on this side, you can view it online. So if you want to view the form online, you can click there to view it online. Or you can duplicate this form if you like the design and you just want to edit a few things about the form. You can duplicate the form and use it for a different list. Maybe you're doing this for a different business. You can duplicate the form and change the list that you're working with. And I showed you how to do that under settings of the form. And also, if you don't like this form and uh, you feel that you don't need it anymore, you can just click here to delete it. You can also delete it by clicking on the form right there. You check the form and then you you delete the selected form. So if you have many forms and you want to delete many forms, you can select them one by one or you can select them all at once and you can delete the form. So if you want to get the link for this form, this is for getting the code. This is a code that you'll use to embed the form on other websites. But if you want to get the link for the form, you can click here and that's going to show you the link here and you can copy that link or even here on your browser, if you just right click, you can copy the link. Okay. My browser says copy link location. Maybe your browser will say something different. Copy link. Just copy the link and you can bring it to a browser to test it. Paste and go. And it will show you the form and you can share that link with your subscribers on Facebook or any other social media. If you want to edit the form, you can just click here and this will take you to editing the form. You can also edit the form by coming this side and just click on edit form. So that's pretty much it for this video. In the next video, let's come back here under create form and we're going to create a different type of form. So you can also end up on this page by coming in here and clicking on create form. So in the next video, we're going to look at list builder apps. And the first one we want to look at is exit intent pop-up. So this is the one whereby if somebody wants to leave your website, this will be shown to them. And we're going to see how we can embed this on, on our website once we've done creating it. It's just the same process of embedding this one. Okay, so I will see you in the next video when we continue from here with list builder apps. If you have any questions, feel very free to let me know. I will see you in the next one.